Welcome to Huddersfield for the first semi-final in the John Player Trophy. Uh, we have spring-like conditions, the sun has been shining all morning, but the pitch is fairly heavy after two or three days' continuous rain, and Leeds retained the side that won at Barrow in the third round, provided the shock of the season in inclusion of 18-year-old Mark Conway, which come half in place of the Rugby League's leading point scorer, Kevin Dick, and they've also got a very big front row at 8, 9 and 10 in Dickinson, Ward and Burke, obviously could result in giving witness some possession problems. And if viewers think they're seeing double after their Christmas drinks, then don't worry. If the leads include the, the two Rain brothers, identical twins, Kevin at 11 and Keith at 12, both signed from Wakefield last season and both playing on top of the form. And Witness have had scrum possession problems all season. And they've got Keith Elwell, the long-standing hooker in there, rather than Steve O'Neill at number 10, who's been, been playing hooker. But a very, very experienced three-quarter line. Eddie Cunningham and Eric Hughes at four and five. Two long-standing campaigners. And referee Stan Wall from Lee. He's only a little man, this, but he's a very, very determined man, and very few players can take anything out of him. <coughs> we couldn't have a more attractive match than Leeds in the blue shirts and amber stripe kicking from right to left on our screens and witness to receive in the traditional white shirts and black shirts a very heavy pitch as we can see there no no bouncing that ball rolling along and i think this pitch could cut up very badly Ali can possibly affect the game somewhat well although it's the festive season i don't think there'll be any christmas bonuses or new year bonuses given out here today it should be an exciting game. Leeds will want to remember the crossbar incident of last year in the semi-final Challenge Cup and Witness will look to repeat that result. And it's Witness, young forward Mike O'Neill bringing the ball away. Adams, Gregory. There should be a good confrontation between these two packs of forwards, both very big packs. Very experienced skipper for the witness. Well, with hardly any wind out, but obviously, scrum half Andy Gregory wants to play the game in the lead half. Oh, and a good run from Neil Hay. Roy Dickinson. This Leeds team trained on Sunday and Monday in order to wear off the Christmas festivities. Number 13, David Heron bringing the ball away. Managed to get himself a test cap against the Australians this year. Oh, and a good ball. And Kevin Rain taking good pass, but well held by young Andy Gregory. And young scrum half, number seven for Leeds, Mark Conway, only 18 years of age, an ex-Colts international, had a marvellous game in the third round at Barrow and has rightly been retained by coach Robin Dewhurst. And the first scrum of the match. And it's young Conway to put the ball in. And a good scrum. John Holmes. already distributing that ball across the field oh. big burly number eight Roy Dickinson already charging down midfield Leeds will want to command the center of this ground they've got a big enough pack to do so Neil Hay going through he's, he's got the line oh but an excellent tackle an excellent tackle from Young witness wingman Joe Lydon for the touch judge Mr Mason he's already on the field for an off the ball incident on John Holmes when he passed that ball and Stan Wall says the use of an elbow well we said he was a determined referee and John Holmes obviously 
took a short arm tackle, the use of the elbow, hit him in the jaw as he packed that ball. And Leeds electing to have that young number seven, Mark Conway, to take the kick. Well, it created a big surprise when the league's leading point scorer, Kevin Dick, was dropped for this young man. And Leeds already placing a lot of responsibility on him here to take this goal. It's a difficult one. He already kicked two goals in the third round at Barrow. It's out on the touchline. But if he could get this one over, he would certainly give this youngster the confidence he needs. It's looking good. Just a minute. So the score still remains at no points each. Leeds tackling number nine, David Ward, and ten, Tony Burke, driving in to witness Michael Neal there. No ball back. A sensible kick from witness skipper number 13, Mick Adams, wanting to relieve his line, but of course, in rugby league, the ball must bounce into touch, no matter where it is on the field. So it's a scrum back. Witness 25. And Lee's second scrum. Oh, game on a lovely pass from David. Well, and it's still going. No, but a lovely passing movement. And I think already, Alec, Leeds look to be wanting to play an open game. Well, if you can see what's uh, happening in this game, they're using uh, John Holmes, who's a very, very good ball player. He's bringing Les Dill round, and he's using Ian uh, Wilkinson uh, very well. Uh, Johnny Holmes is the uh, Leeds number six. He's the commander general in this side. Leeds tackling Australian style. Two in, one round the midriff, one round the chest. But again, another penalty, yes. Play that ball, let, let the witness man play the ball. Well, we've seen more of the down wall than the players at the moment. And it's witness number one, Mick Burke, to put to touch. Text play now, just inside that lead 25, and witness his first real attacking position. a good move it looked complicated but you've got to catch the ball and here's a more simple direct style from leads number eight boy dickinson Kevin Rain, but with this ball, Kevin Tomate, strong New Zealand forward, only signed a month ago by Witness, I think there are more Maoris in this country than playing in New Zealand at the moment. <laughs> well, we'll be after that man Andy Gregory, he's a confident, cocky customer. I'm sure he's going to say something about this game. That's a clever kick, a good kick. And they've won the ball. No, an offside. Well, Ian Wilkinson, lead centre, caught offside, immediately in front of the post. Good piece of refereeing from Stan Wall. Very often centres try to encroach up beyond the, beyond the mark. He turned his back, had a good look and spotted him. And so it's what should be a very, very simple kick for witnesses full-back Mick Burke.
since his signing from Waterloo Rugby Union Club three seasons ago this man certainly proved his worth scored well over a thousand points for the witness club and here's the possibility of another two more and it is so witness go into the lead by two points to nil David Ward and Keitel, well, the, the two respective hookers grappling for, for possession. Witness have had problems in possession all season. They tried one of their props hooking Steve O'Neill, but I think rightly so for this semi-final have restored the normal hooker, Keitel, well. But he's up against a very, very big front row, as we can see. They must have pushed them back 10 yards already. In fact, I think Stan Wall's going back with them. Well, a penalty against Keith Elwell for swinging in the scrum, foot up. And the kick to John Holmes. Oh, Tony Burke, leads number 10, driving in. Kevin Rain came through on the ball, but that was well read by witness number 12, Eric Prescott, a good tackle. Holmes, Conway. Well, Eric Hughes has got space. Can he go all the way? For Lachlan. A fortunate drop ball for witness there. Took good advantage of it. Oh, and a good ball to Burke. Oh. Well, well, well. Well, ridiculous. That was obviously a trick decision. There was no need for any fisty cups from Kevin Tamati. And meanwhile, number 12, Kevin Rain. He's on the floor, obviously suffered from that punch. If you watch this, the ball's moved quickly along the line, the witness line. A lovely ball from Andy Gregory. Now just watch uh, witness number six. There's a trip here, now just watch the witness number six, Tony Myler. Yes, definitely sends the boot in. And was very lucky not to walk for that. Yes, so I think we can say witness have had the Christmas box off the referee though. And it's a long kick for Mick Burke, but he's a very powerful lad, fully 15 stone this full back. just inside the lead half. Well, it's got the length, but not the direction. Score still remains. Witness to lead nil. Oh, and a good ball. Still going, but touch. Well, a good run from that experienced campaigner, Alan Smith. Many felt that this wingman was in the retirement stage. But he, he comes up in these big games to prove it. And it's Leeds there. John Holmes making play again. Interesting style that stand off the both teams. John Holmes more a creator of play, mover of the ball. And Tony Myler, that witness number six there, uh, more an individualist. Here's Holmes again. Lead, piling the pressure on now. Fifteen yards from this witness line. David Ward. Oh, looking for a gap. Oh, what a good tackle by witness Kevin Tomati. Six tackle coming up. Holmes again. Oh, still Holmes. Neil Haig leads early moving this ball around. Oh, and a beautiful pass to Wayne. Andy Smith going for that line. Oh, what a good tackle. Well, my word, didn't the Leeds put some pressure on this witness defence? 
Burke Witness tackling, certainly sure, certainly sound. And it's a scrum down, five yards from the Witness line. And Witness number seven, Andy Gregory, to put the ball in. But it's Leeds again. Already this Leeds front row, this quick front row, establishing an ascendance in these scrums. Andy Smith, number five. Another ex with the Union wingman, signed from round here. But he's still going. Well, he's a bit like a fighting turkey cock, this lad on the wing. And a penalty. Yes, for a high tackle. A head eye tackle from Tomate. He's already had three penalty attempts. I think he'll need this for his confidence. And he gets it. Well, this is what the incident was for. A quick play of the ball from Leeds. Just watch uh, Keith Raines here. He drives in, and Kevin Tamate, who's had a couple of eye tackles and gets penalised, and rightly so for that tackle. David Heron. Good tackling from this, this witness side. Still going, youngster Conway, Heron, looking for the gap, probing, prodding, but there's no way through those three white witness shirts envelop him. And I do feel that, that Leeds at this stage, Alec, will be well advised to put an up and under in or a little kick through to break the cover. Well, I'm very surprised there, but they're here on the attack at the moment. A super bear from Keith Range, but the problem is at the moment, witness attacking so well and keeping him out. Six tackle, one tackle to go. Oh, and a good ball to David Heron. Is he over? No, tackled a yard short. Once again, Mick Burke, like a rocket fullback. Stop David Heron, a yard from that line. No way through. But another scrum down, five yards from the witness line. And it's Leeds' advantage of the, of the open side head. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, I think there was a classic case of Stanwall not seeing the ball pushed out. Eric Hughes. And that was a good scrum for Witness again. Relieved them fully, 25 yards. Still Witness ball. side really getting the clear-cut chances Adams Tamati that's a good ball but very few players in this semi-final are getting any real space to run into oh well oh well pinched by Leeds number 10 Tony Burke Leeds back on the attack. Oh. Oh. Well, it was a good pass, but it was a good tackle by Eddie Cunningham on young Mark Conway. A minute to half time, and another punch. A stupid punch, a minute to half time. Leeds piling on the pressure. 30 yards out and just to the right of the post. He's lofted it high. And it's there. Yes, an excellent goal for Leeds. And might well those Leeds spectators seem delighted. It edges them in the lead. Youngster Conway. A lot of pressure on him. And now into injury time. His first half leads. Four points to two. kick from witness fullback Mick Burke 
obviously looking to contain Leeds deep in their 25. And he does. But there's the half-time hooter, and so Leeds, despite all that scrum possession, still only lead witness by four points to two, but I'm sure we've got a second half in prospect it will warm those spectators up. Witness forward Kevin Tamati, a Maori from New Zealand. He's had what you could call an interesting game so far. I know he's an amateur boxer, but um, he's certainly put a bit of practice in here this afternoon. One or two of these leads forwards. I hope Joe Butler's not watching. And it's Witness to restart. Trailing by four points to two. And Mick Burke to kick. Leeds in the famous blue and amber shirts, looking for another place in this John Player Trophy final. Roy Dickinson bringing the ball away. A typical Yorkshire forward. Here's another one, Tony Burke. Leeds are pretty well renowned for being a very cosmopolitan club. They've had great forwards like. Arthur Clues and Matt Masters and Paul Nick from Australia but this old Yorkshire born six is certainly proving effective on this heavy pitch but a good tackle from Keith Elwell John Holmes, Gill and the six tackle Les Dill, the lead centre, looking to retire at the end of the season, going to a bar in Spain, but he's, he's running here now. Andy Smith. And how many times have we seen the Leeds in this position, attacking and this witness defence still holding out, Alec? Well, Leeds can only play one type of football, and that is throwing the ball about. But I'm very interested to see the way the forwards are running. They're making a tremendous lot of ground, and uh, really, I think they're going to hold the key to this game. How far people like this fella, they call this lad Bernie Rubble, and you can only see understand why. Five yards from this witness line. This big, heavy witness pack then proving very effective. But here's a man who is John Holmes. Oh, and a beautiful pass. And I think that's the difference between the two sides. The, the passing talent of this standoff, John Holmes. He's bringing this lead attack more and more into the game. And as well as those two men, Gregory and, and Myler are playing. They're, they're a little bit too individualistic. And the sixth tackle. David Ward are already earning his wages by wheeling that ball back from these scrums putting a lot of pressure on this witness line and if witness need a scrum in this early minutes of the second half it's now Andy Gregory for witness to put the ball in but yet another lead ball John Holmes oh. still going John Holmes again Wilkinson Conway nice to see Leeds still keeping this ball going oh but a, another good tackle from number 9 Keith Elwell on, on David Heron 10 yards from this oh well a penalty yes a very good decision there from referee Stanwall the crowd were complaining about him, they were roaring, but he waited for advantage to see if Leeds could score from that kick. He knew it was obstruction, and here's another chance for Leeds to go further ahead. It's immediately in front of the posts. A simple kick for Conway. Kicked two goals in the, the third round at Barrow that took Leeds into this semi-final. He's already got two here. And this, I'm sure, 
Should be an easy third. And it is. So with four minutes gone, although we haven't had a try, this young lad, Mark Conway, his three goals, keep Leeds in the lead by six points to two. This is what the penalty was for, a lovely ball here in Keith Rains, puts a little chip above, just watch Stephen Hill, there's no problem what he's going to do, you shall not pass. Well, neither side of him in fact passed the try line, but it still leads in the lead, six points to two. And Alan Smith. Little Andy Gregory, number seven, went in there. He wanted to drop him, but he didn't. Ooh. Dickinson, on his string boy. And the, the heat of this game is really warming up. Leeds using these big forwards, pounding down the middle. And although they haven't pierced this witness cover for a try, They've at least managed to get the position. Oh, and a good kick. A beautiful kick from Leeds number six, John Holmes. We've commented about this man's distribution, but he's a tactical footballer. And this, I think, is, is the main difference between the two sides, this man Holmes at the moment. He's bringing the forwards into play down the middle, then pushing the ball out wide to the wings. Leeds, of course, had a lot of penalties in this game already. 13 penalties to Leeds, so only six to witness. And, of course, it's showing up in the penalty goals. Tomate. And he's lost it. Well, I don't think Witness can afford to lose much possession with what they're getting from the scrums, Alec. I think that was a very good decision by the linesman, actually, Ray, because uh, what happened then, the referee didn't see it, and uh, the touch judge actually advised him what to do. Young Conway, pretty well looked after by Mick Adams, and he gets the ball. A good piece of old head from Mick Adams there. Steve O'Neill. And his brother, Mike O'Neill. To Marty. Oh. Well, it's Leeds ball. Witness are certainly floundering in midfield. As they lack that understanding, that coordination that they usually have. And here's here going for the line. Oh, what a good tackle. Good cover tackle again from Eric Prescott. Five yards from this witness line. Pressure on now. Aaron Holmes. Oh. Well, well read by Kieran Lachlan there. Sensing that there was an overlap coming. Keith Rain. Wilkinson. And Eric Prescott intercepted. Witness not throwing this ball about as they usually do. They're bringing these, this pair of brothers, the two O'Neill boys at 8 and 10 down the middle, but they're getting nowhere against this Leeds cover. I really do think they should push this ball out wider. And it's a heavy pitch and they easily get bogged down in midfield. And there they are. They look a most unlike Witness side this afternoon, Alec. Well, I think Witness are now beginning to change the, the, the style of play because the forwards are playing down the middle, which is very, very uncharacteristic uh, about these two sides. But I will say this, that uh, you must never underestimate this side. There's only four points in it, and I don't think that'll be enough. Penalty 
to put up and I think Keith Alwell is, is having to get his foot up the scrums already 6-3 in Leeds' favour and of course it's a differential penalty from the scrum he can't go for goal so John Holmes puts the kick in 20 yards now from the, the witness line well Leeds have certainly had some pressure but to date only three penalties to show Roy Dickinson Rain oh. well it looked a high tackle and it's that man to Marty again and he's got the ball and meanwhile the Leeds player I'm afraid is lying flat out on the ground Keith Rain what a scrum yard well the referee Stan Wall seems the only calm man on the game at the moment well this is a tackle they say this is not a, a hard tackle but just watch this it's a real cruncher no wonder he's gone down on the floor and a witness scrum Mick Burke. Oh, but well covered by Neil Haig. His opposite number, the fullback, coming in the line, sensing that the fullback had come in the line and doing the right thing. Witness number four, Eddie Cunningham. And another lost ball. Oh, and Keith. Keith Burke. Needs number ten, keeps them under pressure. Wilkinson, oh but just in touch another example of that witness cover Joe Lydon, young wingman puts Ian Wilkinson into touch, two yards and still the pressure's on this witness line still leads, throw this ball about well you can see here, this is a super ball of John Holmes here, and you can just see a little bit of an experience here, young Conway he sh he, I think he'd be allowed to hold that ball and Ian Wilkinson runs into touch which is vital Scrum down, and that's a vital scrum. A win, there's no wonder Andy Gregory clutches hold of that ball. He'll be content to bring this ball away through his forward, settle the game down for witness. They need to pull themselves back into the game. But sixes and sevens at the moment. Mick Adams trying to clear. Well, it's a safe one for Leeds fullback number one, Neil Haig, to take. John Holmes, Aaron. Oh, that's a good ball. But that's not. Still going. Witness still soaking up this pressure from Leeds. The whole of this half, they've virtually been counting that 25. Dickinson, Holmes again. He's the general in midfield. And Leeds must be wondering, where are we going to get a try? How are we going to score one? And yet another six tackle. Number 15, witness substitute, Keith Newton. A young lad, got plenty of speed, and I think this is a shrewd move. He's putting a youngster on with speed and bringing off number 11, Kevin Tamate. I think Dougie Lawton thinks that this man's been in a few bruising battles and he could get himself sent off. He doesn't want to end up with 12 men. That's a very shrewd substitute. And Futter. Witness front row having won tremendous battle to win this ball. They're trying every 
dodge that they can but they're not escaping Stonewall's eye Reed still five yards from this line they've been camped out here now Dickinson well there's still some grit left in that witness pack as you say this witness team are never beaten David Ward and Leeds must be wondering how are we going to score they've been on the line to the line and still not over it Dickinson Holmes oh and here's a break he's going himself oh he's passed it straight to Cunningham and Joe Lydon now he's got the room he's going the full length of the field play on says referee Stanwall Tony Bird picking up oh. and Gregory's complaining play on says referee Wall and a penalty well I think Witness were a little upset at the tackle on Joe Lydon the wingman but there's one thing in this game you've got to carry on playing you've got to carry on playing and it was certainly a heavy tackle but referee Stanwall has penalised witness for argument well this is the break it looks like Leeds are going to fire it over in and score but just watch Joe Lydon Eddie Cunningham picks the ball up throws the ball up to Joe Lydon now just watch this was this late or was it not I think it was just watch he kicks and bang, that was the one, the second man in. Witness, of course, was scored twice if Conway can kick this. And he does, it's clean between. And so the experiment, Robin Dewhurst, the coach, in playing this youngster is paying off. He looks calm, he looks controlled, and his kicking takes leads to eight points to two in their favour. for a change now on this Leeds line Mike O'Neill Adams but still witness persevering by a forward play going down the middle Keith Newton substitute hoping to possibly inject that extra yard of pace Adams oh here's a chance Beautiful dummy from Mike Adams. We've talked about his experience. A yard from the Leeds line. Prescott. The last tackle, the sixth tackle coming up. Cunningham. A nice chip through. Oh. Well, this has been coming from Witness. Just watch Mick Adams here. Sells the dummy. And out part is his shot. He can't be a whisker off there, can he? Conway lost his footing but certainly Witness will be relieved to have the ball in their hands well this one will be talked about in the pub just watch young Conway does Mick Burke does he stick his leg out and I think he may have done Kevin Rain one of the Rain twins John Holmes leads piling the pressure on Les Dill Tony Burke going like a steam train down the middle he's only got Burke to shift oh and another yard from the line Leeds pressure now young Conway good try from Conway six tackle coming up Tony Burke and an interception from Gregory oh and he's coming away 
Well, certainly witness are not giving this game up without a fight. Kieran O'Loughlin. Prescott. these big leads forwards have got about with the tackling Alec well, I think this has been an absolute super semi-final I think both sides and witness you know in the last 15 minutes have really uh, came back come back into this game but Leeds are still tackling as well as when they started Keith Newton not really had many chances to get into the game since his substitution for Kevin Tomati but I think Coach Doug Lawton hopes to inject a little more pace on this blue pot of a pitch. Good kick from Joe Lydon from Widnes. Now this a despairing chance. Get going. Let's get moving. There's still time for Widnes. minutes to go in this match and if ever the side can snatch victory from defeat this is the witness side that can do it Adams Tony Myler well, <laughs> it looked a bit like Butterfingers but witness still got possession Mike O'Neill Witness, of course, still got to score twice. Oh! Well, it was a bad pass to witness number six, Tony Miley. He had little chance to take that ball. It was round his ankles. Conway. Two minutes to go, Leeds grimly hanging on to this this lead. <laughs> well, Andy Gregory there, sleeves rolled up, surely had a go at rain. Aaron. And if any one department has won this game for Leeds, it's this back of forwards. They've got the possession and then they've driven into witness. Here they are again. Keith Wayne still going. And young Conway. Well, an unfortunate drop ball there for young Conway. But at least give the lad credit for being there. That's what a good scrum half should be. Backing up his forwards when the half break is made. A minute to go. And Leeds ball again. Let's go. Oh, to David Heron. Out to Smith. He's got... Oh, he's still going. Well, how many times have we seen that witness number one, Mick Burke? Like the rock of Gibraltar stuff there, stopping everything that curled at him. A yard from this witness line, looking for the first try. Oh, but no. And this scrum possession from Leeds, 12 to 5 in their favour, a surely told against witness. But what a testimony to their defence. We're still looking for that first try from Witness, this from Leeds, despite all the ball. Oh, it's still going back, Roy Dickinson. Six tackle coming up. David Ward. But no, and there's the hooter. And there's the man of the match, number eight. Roy Dickinson leaps in the air. And how well leads all much to that man and his, and his pack. Well, Alec, no tries, but a fine game nevertheless. Well, I think it's been a super game, a super semi-final, and I think Leeds justifiable winners. I think they've earned the place in the final, and it shouldn't put down to a great final.
Well, yes, Leeds have wasted 10 seasons for their second John Player final appearance, and they got the left foot of young Mark Conway to thank for that. Four penalty goals in that eight points to two win over Witness.